Mm, that awful thing when a crisp drops out of the packet and you can't find it. <sighs> From this bag, the crisp dropped out when I was picking it up. Dropped out of my fingers. And it has vanished out of existence. I have no idea where it is, Matt. Search for it with me. Do you see anything? Uh, where is it? I can't see it at all. No, I can't find that crisp. It's gone. It's gone. That one crisp, that one quaver has gone out of my life forever. Can't eat it. <sighs> I'm very upset. You know how much I love quavers, don't you? Quavers! I love quavers! I love quavers! <laughs> anyway, hello Matt. It is March the 12th and I've done my drama exam two days ago, which was sick. Everyone seemed to love it except me. Like, literally, um, everyone who watched it said they laughed so much at it, which I'm very happy with. The piece we did was a comedy sketch group, and I'm very impressed people laughed at it, but I'm not very impressed that I forgot my line. That I'd... I'd memorised the lines for about three weeks of that sketch. I never messed up at that point. I messed up at that point for some reason. Uh, hopefully, though, the examiner, did, the examiner didn't notice, so I don't get marked down. So that's a big part of my week, the exam. And also, um, Ian wasn't in today again. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. No intervention, no intervention. Yeah, by now, th Matt, you gathered that I, me and you mutually hate Miss Ian, and so does Ian, and so does Sebastian Light. We hate her. We all hate her. You may notice I'm in actually a pretty good mood tonight, and um, I don't know why, I just suddenly found myself in a good mood, but I've made a few edits to my uh, little background setup. Still quite a good there, but I'm a million pound note over there. Amazing. Pound note. Shame note, those haven't changed. Reading bus portrait, but here's the big change. This kind of area here. We have this thing, a cool piece of artwork that I found, that I did in primary school. It's off the Star Wars VHS and DVD covers, that I did myself. Um, not very really, like, faithful to them, but I think they're pretty good. And I think that one's my best. I think Empire Strikes Back's my best one, because I got the TIE Fighters down just right. Other things i got is, I've also got the Heroes of the Dag 3 out. Um, I think you can tell they are. And uh, the villains as well, uh, so... Those are my edits to my little background setup. I hope you can see them because they are pretty sick. Okay, the real reason I am in a good mood is because I'm trying to make up for not watching iRobot. I didn't even look for it on YouTube. I thought you had DVD of it, uh, but you didn't. You have a um, copy of an USB or something, but I don't think I'll bring a USB back, so yeah. Uh, either way, I'm not watching iRobot, but I'll try and look for it this weekend to CX. But if I don't, Review will definitely come next week. The movie I'm going to review today is not Terminator 3 because I've never seen Terminator 3 and I've not got it. I'm actually going to review my least favourite movie of all time. I don't know why but I just thought today I might as well do the review of my least favourite movie I've ever seen and that is Nomeo and Juliet. I know a lot of you are saying right now, Nomeo and Juliet, that's a brilliant movie, that's so much fun. Well. Let me just explain, my idea of a good movie is what Nomeo and Juliet isn't. I don't like movies that abuse the source material so much. I'm not a big fan of Romeo and Juliet, the original story, but Nomeo and Juliet just makes the story so bad. You know, they tell the story so bad, and there's just nothing good about it. It just... They try and put a modern retelling of the story with gnomes instead of people, and they, um also put in, uh, removed all historic dialogue from modern dialogue and made it a bit kid friendly. That didn't work. The dialogue in this movie is cringeworthy. I don't, last time I saw this movie was four years ago so forgive me for making any mistakes but I do think it is very bad, very 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 bad. There's no real amazing story, it's just Romeo and Juliet but worse. I already said that, Romeo and Juliet's story, but worse. And now, I lo I'm i not a big fan of Shakespeare. Um, I think he's overrated. Um, I mean, he's not as overrated as, like, um, Mignolet is, but I still think that 
Shakespeare is overrated. I understand his pieces, but the thing is, is I think even he'd be disappointed in Romeo and Juliet. So, yeah, basically, it's a story of Romeo and Juliet, but with gnomes, and uh, they don't die at the end. So, basically, the... I don't know any names except Juliet, which is normal, and Romeo, what the hell? It's like they thought, at the wherever it was made, hmm, what can we make a movie of? Hmm. Oh, there's Romeo and Juliet, there's Hamlet. But ham's already been taken by Toy Story, so we can't use a ham. Ham pig. Uh, Romeo and Juliet, that's a better one. Um, oh, gnomes! Romeo and Juliet. Whoa! So I didn't like this setup of it. Completely unneeded battle at the end. That, that was a terrible battle scene at the end. They had a battle scene at the end in the movie. Like, what the hell? The comedy is so out of place. The shots are kind of nice. The lighting's pretty good, but it's a CGI movie, so what do you expect? The lighting has to be good. If you have bad lighting in a CGI movie, like, what is your life? I mean, yeah, I've got to admit, some people who worked on this movie have a life. I mean, Elton John, I'm not... I don't, I've not heard a lot of his songs, but I know he has a life, so... <laughs> he worked on this movie a bit. Chris P. Bacon, who actually did another score for one of my other least favourite movies, I'll get onto that another week. He did a score, I know he has a life because he's been featured on Vlogbrothers, not his name, his name is featured on Vlogbrothers, but not himself. And, uh, then again, they fall out, they get back together again, mysteriously, randomly, not like Romeo and Juliet at all. It's like some scenes they focus on Romeo and Juliet so much, other scenes they don't. They killed off who was supposed to be Tybalt, uh, and that, that was pretty good, I think. They killed off a character, you're thinking, they're following the story pretty well. Well, what happens at the end while they live? I know it's a kid's movie, but heck, Mustafa, Mustafa was killed. Mustafa? What am I talking about? This isn't Valencia. Mustafa was killed in um, Lion King. Uh, Nemo's mum was killed in Finding Nemo. Um, who else was killed? Uh, pff, what's his name? Uh, the wife in Up was uh, not killed off, but she she died in the opening few minutes. Um, they were going to die in Toy Story 3. Uh, good thing they didn't. Um, they can be sad in kids' movies. You don't have to go full light hard all the time. This movie goes full light hard. The acting's bad. And even the CGI isn't that good. Like, it, it would have been... It looks about as good as Monsters, Inc. And that was made in 2001. This movie was made in 2011. Ten years. This is made after Up. After Up. And Up, I think, is one of the best looking CGI movies ever. And it was made after then. Ugh. Oh. So you can tell, I hate Re No Man Julia. Uh, so I... I don't really know anything else to say about it. It's just bad. It's not my taste. Not my movie. I'm going to say, a 0 out of 10. hope that counts movie review for you. Um, I've I'm not, I'm not watched it in four years, but I've just said it's a bad movie. I don't want to watch it again. Alright, so I hope my upbeat tone has made up for the bad movie. And also not watch an iRobot, Matt. Um, I will see you tomorrow in real life and vlog form and um, on YouTube. And uh, see you then.